Hi, I'm Rob Mathis from Transducers Direct. We're down here at the beautiful Vinoy Marina in St. Petersburg, Florida, talking about our new Transducers Direct wireless Bluetooth sensor, the TDWLB. It has a wide range of applications, including marine applications for air conditioning, water pressure, uh, oxygen monitoring, pools, uh, industrial gases, a wide range of applications where we need constant reading of a transducer but without any wires attached. And today what we have, uh, we have Captain Patrick with us from Sailing, Florida and he, we're here to talk to him about how the Transducers Direct wireless Bluetooth sensor uh, has, has been of value to him and his charter fleet. So Captain Patrick, we've installed a couple of the new Transducers Direct TDWLB transducers on uh, a couple of your vessels here to monitor the air conditioning systems. Can you tell me how that's working out for you and the value of that? Well, of course, Rob. Uh, what we've done, they've installed these onto the air conditionings, and we can tell the low and high pressure of the air conditioning. And uh, there's a few things we can't tell on our boats when we do a thorough check through before any charter is, is it low on Freon? Is it going to go out on them when they're out and about. Well, with this installed on our boats, we can catch it before any of our boats go out and we know they'll have an enjoyable trip. So what happens is that when people, you could be marginal, what you're saying, the, mar the Freon level actually could be marginal and they could actually be out anchored off someplace or pull into a new marina and all of a sudden their air conditioning is not working. And I'm guessing down here in southern Florida in the summer, that could be a problem when the air conditioning is not working well in your, for, your, uh, for your charters. That is true, especially in the summer times when our air conditionings are going full speed. It's, it's, they're under lots of pressure and they're trying to keep everything cool and keeping everybody from sweating. So that's, that's how that works. So it, it'll work great for all our, all our boats to okay. have, have yeah. it installed. And now, and now with the uh, with the transducers installed, and with and with your your smartphone or your app, uh, your your iPad that you have here, uh, we can sit here and we from the dock side. You can see right now we have Freebird, uh, high a couple of different vessels we have out here. The high and low side of uh, of, of the air conditioning unit, and you can just just purely from the dock sit here and just select whichever one you want. Uh, and actually start getting getting readings, and actually will send off alarms as well if any of the uh, if any of the pressures are low. And, and Patrick, can you tell me about when when the boats go out? What what do you guys go through? Do you have like a checkout procedure that you have? Yes, we have a checkout procedure. It's like checking the oil levels on the boats, the fuel levels, uh, everything as as much as we can that we can see. But there's a few things that we can't tell, like our air conditioning if you're low on Freon or and stuff like that. So uh, this little gadget right here that he has will tell me if it's low on Freon before the problem happens. So it actually allows you to be more proactive in, in your maintenance of your, of your vessels as opposed to waiting for something to happen. And now the air is not working, they have upset charters and customers. Now you can be proactive and actually monitor before? Yes, uh, it's simple as grabbing my iPhone or my iPad and this is connects through a Bluetooth, through an app, and I can just click on the vessel and then it tells me the pressure that's in the air conditioning. And what we have is the, uh, is the app that you guys now use. Uh, so again, through your smartphone, like you said, or on an iPad, is that what you're able to do now is walk up and down the dock and actually stop in front of a boat and actually check the, the Freon level like we see right here. Uh, we can check, we can actually click on this one, it'll actually start con connecting, it starts communicating, and that line looks like it done, let me tells you the, uh, the, the Freon levels, what's going on, but it also tells you the temperature as well, in case someone, uh, I guess you have problems from time to time with the, what is it, the strainer that brings the, uh, the, the, the water into the air conditioning system, to, I'm guessing it kind of gets clogged up with seaweed once in a while. Yes, it does, like now, a perfect example right now, it, there's a lot of seagrass in the water, and uh, that, that would right there, the temperature could tell me. Uh, we have a couple of these installed on some of your vessels today, that's correct? That's correct. Okay, is there one we can take a look at and maybe we'll get some readings? Yes, uh, Freebird actually has them installed. She's actually right over there. If you want to come, we'll take a look at Let's it. Let's go take a look. All right. Well, here we are with uh, Freebird, one of the vessels we have uh, this installed on. So this, and, this uh, is one, one of the vessels in your fleet and you have uh, 30 boats or something like that? Correct. correct. Okay. And uh, it's connected and it's on right now, the air conditioning, and it's talking to the iPad through Bluetooth. Okay, and right now, what we can see here, we can see Freebird um, aft AC high and Freebird aft AC low. Um, so you can, looks like what we can do is that we can actually sit here and we can actually name each transducer. 
So as you come up and on your dock, and let's say you have multiple ones around here, you can actually see the boat and the, and the air conditioning system that it's on. Um, some of your boats have more than one air conditioning system, don't they? Correct, they have some two, others three. Again, the, the first in the world to have this type of capability. And, the bat and there's a replaceable battery inside here, Patrick, that actually lasts 18 to 24 months, depending upon usage. So it's not like you, you got to replace batteries you know, every month or two. It really has long life, and you can see there's a little drawer in the back. The battery actually just slides out, slides back in. Everything remains inside the transducer as far as the name of it that we talked about, um, the serial number and everything else. Thank you very much for your time Thank today, you, um, and, we, and we look forward to uh, to continue supporting you and your, and your charter fleet and keeping your, a bunch of happy charters. Thank you so much. Again, and, uh, I'm taking this one with me. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Take care. For more information or to discuss your application, please contact our technical support team. We'll be glad to help you improve performance while lowering your costs.